Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right folks, so I finally got around to shooting the left hand side of my movie room here. And that's exactly what I'm going to be showing in this video. So what you're going to be seeing is the bulk of my Blu-ray collection. You're also going to see my entire Arrow video collection as well as my second site collection. There's also the likes of Midnight Classics in there as well. You've got all my media books, my entire Blu-ray steelbook collection. There is quite a bit in here and not just that but there is some very nice collectible box sets that I'm going to be showing. Some nice little hidden gems there as well and uh, really really looking forward to taking us around it. So I actually already shot the segment where I, you know where I'm showing the wall off and I'm just going to cover myself here just in case I didn't say it in that segment but the way I've done it is I'm just going over each shelf. I'm not individually taking out uh, releases because look it would just go on forever and uh, I just don't want to bore you. So um, just bear that in mind when you are watching that segment. But not only that, but I will also be showing you the shelf that's behind me here, the new shelf that we built that's holding my Walking Dead collection. That is actually got, that's actually holding my entire 3D collection. Uh, so I will be showing that in the video as well. And uh, yeah, I've, as you know, I've actually done videos for every other room, uh, every other wall inside this room. And what I will do is I'm going to leave links in the description below for each one of them videos. And if you are interested, uh, please do check them out. I think you'd be quite impressed with it. So here we go, folks. This is the left hand side of my room. I really do hope you enjoy it. Right. So here we go. This is everything that we are going to be looking at in this video. So as you can see, there is quite a bit to go through here. Now, I'm going to just quickly say to you at the start of this, I'm not going to individually show every single Blu-ray because, look, it'd be ridiculous. Uh, the video would go on for a week. Uh, so I'm just going to basically just go over each shelf and uh, hopefully you'll get an idea of uh, what my collection is like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over in this corner here. That's where it all begins and then uh, we'll walk away across but before i do anything i just wanted to quickly show you uh, the new shelf that i put into this room or we built it ourselves so as you can see i can i have the walking dead collection sitting there i, I just fit it in uh, thankfully so because i wanted to put the rear speakers uh, on each end as well so it came out quite nice but when i go around this side you will notice that my entire 3d collection is on this shelf so this shelf holds close to 300 movies and it just got I just got in my 3D collection thankfully because I always wanted a dedicated shelf for this. But as you can see along the top, this is all my Walt Disney 3D collection. I actually have them in these lovely uh, plastic display cases because every single one of these have this lovely red frame to them. Actually let me take out one so I can actually show it to you. Uh, but there you go, that's what they look like, every single one of them looks like that and uh, it's an amazing collection to have and yeah it's great to have the whole lot of them together all on one shelf so that's just a quick idea of what we've done here with this shelf it looks quite nice so it is a little bit on the well I won't say tight but yeah you want to be careful when you're walking through here so as I'm going over to my first shelf you will notice there is a display stand here so I'm not going to be able to get the camera in right into the corner here unfortunately but look We'll see what we can do. So I'm going to start up at the top and this is where it all begins. So as you can see there, you got the American Pie collection. Of course, you got the Alien collection there as well. Uh, there is a lovely edition there of um, Apocalypse Now. Of course, you got the likes of the Annabelle trilogy. Another release, nice release there of Argo. Still need to pick that up in 4K. And then right over here is, you'll see in the corner there, there is a nice Bourne collection. So I'll make my way across. Again, I'm not gonna spend any time because I just don't want it to go on too long. But you've got the likes of the Big Bang Theory, uh, Close Encounters. So that's the start of my C's. And uh, we'll go down here and pan across. And you will see my Creepshow collection, uh, parts one and two. And as you can see, I have the TV series there, just the first two seasons. I need to pick up the, the third one. There's a lovely release there of Cujo from Eureka. And of course, you got the Chucky collection there in the corner. Right, so I'll scroll down again. Uh, we're on to the D's now. So you've got the likes of the Die Hard collection in there, Dodgeball. 
uh, The Departed, great movie that, uh, Dirty Grandpa, Dirty, uh, Dirty Dancing, uh, that's the Keepsake Edition. And uh, you've got the Clint Eastwood, or the Dirty Harry collection I should say. And then right under that you will notice right here is another Clint Eastwood collection and that is the 20 movie, I think it's the... Is it Warner Brothers or Universal? I can't quite remember what uh, company done it, but there's 20 movies. Uh, some of his best in there. And then you'll notice as well, this is my 88 Films Slasher Collection. Of course, you got that lovely edition of Urban Legends and I Know What You Did Last Summer. So I don't have too many when it comes to the Slasher Collection, unfortunately. So right down again we go. And not much to look at here again. You got the tribute concert to Queen there, Freddie Mercury tribute concert. Uh, what a concert that is. And of course, you have this amazing uh, box set of Friday the 13th from Shout Factory. Would love to get the Halloween collection someday. Right, so down we go. And not much to talk about here. The Hero uh, TV series, which I still haven't seen. Uh, the Hannibal Lecter box set. So uh, go right across, you'll see the likes of the Grindhouse movies there in the corner, of course, the Godfather collection. And then right down again, that's that lovely edition of House of a Thousand Corpses that I got off my good friend Connor Gray. That's a close look at my Blu-rays that I have of the Halloween collection. Uh, the Hatchet Trilogy, I had a great time with them movies. And then you've got the likes of, uh, I don't know, the Ice Age thrill Trilogy there as well. And then right down to the bottom, it's just the last of what's on the shelf. Uh, you got a couple of jackass movies there. You got a couple of in-print releases. As you can see, the Wicker Man collection and the Eagle as Landish. Both of them were given to me by Conor Gray as well. So that's just a close look at what's on my first shelf. It goes up to K. So we are going to then make our way onto the middle shelf here. And as you can see, it is definitely the biggest shelf uh, when it comes to this wall. So, uh, right, I'm going to start right up here on the top. And, right, we are on to the likes of Kill Bill there. You've got the Lord of the Rings collection. Now, The Hobbit is there as well. It's not an alphabetical order, but I had to put them two together. Then, of course, you got the likes of The Lost collection. Uh, the Lodge hated that movie. Lights Out. Oh, actually, I'm watching that now in the next, uh, this weekend, I think. You've got the likes of Lethal Weapon there as well, uh, the Fokker collection. And then right down we'll go again, and you've got the likes of the Ocean. This is my 101 collection, I don't have too many. I was very, um, I said from day one when it came to this collection that I was only going to buy what I want. I didn't want to kind of, you know, because some of the movies they brought out, some of them were quite poor, and I, I didn't want to kind of go down that rabbit hole, and I'm happy I stuck through to it. Right, so right across we'll go, you'll see a nice Mad Max edition there, it uh, kind of comes in a petrol tin. I uh, kind of like what you'll see, I think Reservoir Dogs done something very similar, I think I actually have it. So down under here you'll notice this lovely edition of the Paranormal Activity Collection. And then you've got the likes of uh, uh, Planet of the Apes there, Pirates of the Caribbean, Poltergeist, of course the Police Academy Collection. Rambo box set, has a bit of damage to it which is uh, unfortunate. And then right down we go again and across. And you've got the likes of the Santa Claus trilogy there, uh, the M. Night Shyamalan box uh, collection, uh, Scream trilogy. Of course, the Star Wars collection. So many times I have that, <laughs> that trilogy, or that collection, sorry. Uh, whether it's Blu-ray or 4K. And right down we go again uh, you'll see the Superman collection there. One of so many Stanley Kubrick box sets that I have. You've also got the Stallone and Seagal box sets. Uh, there's three amazing editions from Turbine of Daylight, um, Dragonheart and Twister. All three of these come with Dolby Atmos soundtracks. And uh, they say, sound absolutely incredible. Then you've got the uh, Transformers uh, Revenge of the Fallen collector's edition there as well. And then you've got a Tarantino box set. I think that goes up to, it's celebrating 20 years. I think it might go up to Death Proof. I can't quite remember. And then right under we go again. So we're on to W's. And I'll just go across. That's what, with the, a nice Watchmen edition. It's kind of similar to the Transformers edition that I was talking about there a second ago. Uh, there is a couple of releases that I got from my good friend David Punton. 
which are rather beautiful. And right across you'll see a Tim Burton box set. And here's another lovely gift that I received, the Terrifier collection from a good friend Connor Gray. And I had such a wonderful time with their movies, I really enjoyed them. And this is the last of what I'm going to be showing here, that's the, one of, uh, the Walt Disney O-Ring collection, I think that's what they're called. And that's the end of my Blu-rays. But then right beside it we do have the likes of uh, the Hulk collection. That's a DVD release. It looks pretty badass. Right there beside it is a Back to the Future collection. I mean, you press this button, it lights up. I'm actually surprised that's still working because it's years old. And then right beside that, you'll see a beautiful release of Event Horizon. And then beside that is a 25th edition of The Goonies. And then at the end is a lovely wanted release. So there we go, folks. That is the middle shelf. As you can see, I have two free shelves at the bottom there. And it's because I put that new shelf in, freed up all that space for me, thankfully so. So that is the middle shelf. So we're going to make our way over here. And um, this is the real kind of collectible side where you will have all my steel books. You'll notice those Midnight Classics, Media Books, uh, Second Sight and Arrow video. So I'm going to go right in here and let's have a look. So right in the top there is, uh, you'll see the likes of Battle Royale, uh, of, course, of course that Scarlet box set of the Hellraiser collection. And it's because of that box set why I'm not going to be picking up the 4K release. Having said that, if I get reviews, if I hear reviews and the 4K picture looks good on them, I might consider uh, picking them up. Uh, you got that beautiful edition of the Bruce Lee Golden Harvest and of course Phantasm sitting right beside it. And there's a couple of more box sets, another Battle Royale, uh, Psycho, which I've just done a review on. Uh, you got the uh, uh, George Romero collection, Children of the Corn there as well. You'll notice uh, the House and the Ring collections. And then right in the corner there is Videodrome and uh, Danny Darko. So uh, yeah, some very nice collectibles on top there. Then right under it is, uh, it kind of continues. Um, Right in the corner there is Phenomena, but as you can see, I didn't pick up the 4K release and I'm kicking myself because it's sold out now. And I had so many opportunities to get it for cheap and I didn't take it. So I'm going to make my way across, you'll see the Creepshow 2 edition, that is the Arrow Video exclusive. Uh, I actually do have the red variant, but it's actually in my other room, I need to take it out uh, and put it in here. Uh, but that is more of the limited edition sets. Of course, you have to have John Carpenter's The Thing. You'll see 12 Monkeys right beside it. Amazingly enough, I actually got that for like 11 euro. It was so cheap. And then right here is some of the old school kind of uh, Arrow Video Limited sets. You got the likes of the Necromantic, uh, Dr. Fibes and uh, Texas Chainsaw. And then right in the corner here is just some of the uh, singular releases with the limited slip covers. And then right there in the corner, is the start of my Arrow Video Steelbook collection. I don't have too many, but there's a few there, some very nice ones. Uh, that's the entire uh, Steelbook collection there. A couple of highlights for me is definitely the likes of uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I love, love that Steelbook. Uh, Porky's is probably my favorite comedy of all time, and it's great to see it get a Steelbook treatment. Of course, you have John Carpenter's The Thing. And on here we go, and this is the collection I'm so unbelievably pr proud of, and I never thought I'd ever finish it, and it is the window box editions. This is what our video used to do when they first started. And uh, I just have to do a few shout outs when it comes to this collection, because the Demon collection there, that was gifted to me by my good friend Jimmy, uh, from Jimmy Boy's Movies, and right beside it, the Exterminator, John over at Mondo Chelevic, uh, gave that to me. But right at the end here, as you can see, anyone that's aware of this collection, Zombie Flesh Eaters, a good friend of mine by the name of Gordon, actually gifted that to me. And that was one edition I never thought I'd get for my collection. So yes, it is completed now, and uh, yeah, very proud of that. So right in this, beside that again, you will see a lot of uh, just singular titles there. You've got the likes of Delta Force, which I absolutely love. Uh, you've got The Exorcist 3 in there, Hellgate, The Initiation, it's a good slasher movie that. And then it continues over here, and uh, it's just, just the last of my singular titles. So you've got the likes of Rawhead Rex, uh, The Slayer, The Stuff, The Visitor. 
And then there was actually another edition of Zombie Flesh Eaters. Uh, I actually thought I was getting the window box edition when I purchased that one. So I was very disappointed. And then right here is the start of my second site collection. Now I have to tell you is I am so behind when it comes to this collection. I really need to catch up. I've missed so many great releases. But uh, I love the Assault on Precinct 31. It's one of the first they brought out. I needed to have that for my collection. Of course, you got the Dawn of the Dead, which is probably the crown jewel of their collection. That Drive release is actually quite beautiful as well. You've also got the likes of The Guest. That was a, such a great movie. Uh, it's a good movie for October, that. Uh, you've also got the um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, Upgrade Witch. That one there in the end, Willard and Ben, that was actually gifted to me as well from a friend of mine by the name, going by the name of Jeff. And uh, right at the end there, you will see a steelbook, and there's two more over here from Second Sight, which is Scanners and uh, Return of the Living Dead. So, like I said, that is my Second Sight collection. I need to do some catching up, and hopefully, uh, sometime soon, I will. So, this is my media book collection. Now, I don't have too many, uh, but I do have a lot when it comes uh, that come with my busts. But I would never take them out of them, so uh, this is just uh, my kind of singular titles that I bought. So I'll make my way over and show it to you, but there is a couple of nice releases there. you got Black Christmas, Bloodsport, all 4K. Daddy's Cadillac, that's licensed to drive. Uh, Halloween 2 and 3, uh, 4K releases. Uh, the Mortuary, that's a fun anthology horror movie. Of course, you got Night of the Demons. Uh, that's a very, a very rare edition uh, on media book. Of course, you got the likes of the Burbs, Dog Soldiers, uh, Maximum Overdrive, uh, Phantasm there, that's a 4K release that I picked up from Germany. And then right in the end, you have the likes of The Whale and The Witch uh, next door. Both of them are 4K releases. And then right beside that is my Midnight Factory collection. Now, this is an Italian company and uh, they do bring out some amazing releases. As you can see, they all go absolutely beautiful together. And nice, strong, hard, rigid, box, rigid boxes you get with it. And uh, some of the work that they put into it. Like, for instance, see if I can take it out here. But this edition of uh, Army of Darkness, uh, Evil Dead. I think there's like, there must be like an eight disc box set. It's, it's, the amount of discs in it is frightening. And uh, it's a gorgeous release, that. But uh, yeah, I need to catch up uh, on some of the releases that I've missed out on. Uh, then right under here is my Harry Potter Ultimate Collection. And as you can see, I am missing Deathly Hallows parts one and two. Hopefully someday I'll find them. For cheap, that is. Uh, then you've got the likes of the Monster Universal Collection. It comes in a coffin, which looks badass. And a couple of box sets there beside it of Dirty Dancing, uh, Blade Runner and National Treasure. That's the Presidential Book Edition. And then right beside it here is the start of my Blu-ray collection. Now I'm not going to spend too much time here because I have them in cases and they're just going to reflect uh, reflect badly so you probably won't be able to make them out. But these first few here are from a company called Kosh Films. Well, they used to be called Kosh. I don't know what they're called anymore, but um, they brought out some amazing st uh, steelbooks. So right down the bottom there, we'll just make our way across. You will see though that there is the Friday the 13th steelbook collection. I really do hope they continue that steelbook collection. It'd be a shame if they didn't. Right down under it there is a couple of steelbooks that I actually have to find the uh, plastic cases for. You'll see the Maze Runner movies there. They were gifted to me as well. Uh, right over here you'll see this gorgeous edition, uh, steelbook edition of The Ring. I'm a huge fan of it. And that's the Star Trek steelbook collection there in the corner. And then right under it is the 20th Century Fox um, definitive edition steelbooks collection. And that's basically the rest of my steelbooks. So I have around probably, I don't know, 300 steelbooks, if you kind of factor in some of the Arrow video ones as well. So that is all three shells, folks. And all that's left to do is show you is what I have on top, which I'm going to do right now. So I'll make my way in and up top there is a Watchman Night Owl edition that actually lights up. It looks beautiful. Of course, you got the Home Alone collection. It comes in a tin, a paint tin. Uh, the A-Team DVD collection. As you can see, it's in an ammo crate. Uh, under the dome, you actually get the town in that box. And it's, of course, in, in, the, uh, in the dome. And that is my Maverick collection. Now, 
I was meant to get rid of that. Uh, I was so disappointed with it. But when I started thinking about it, if you know, the two movies are in the box set. I wanted the movies on 4K, so I opted to keep it. Sometimes I live with my mistakes. Uh, Blade Runner 2049, you do get the Deckard gun inside that. It's a replica of it. And then right beside that is the Ultimate uh, Born collection. So all that's left here is my Star Trek collection. And uh, I'll make my, my way over. So this is Enterprise Seasons 1-4. to four. And then right beside that is Voyager. I think it's around 7 seasons of it. And then right beside that is uh, Deep, Star uh, Deep Space Nine. Uh, I think there's seven seasons of that as well. And then of course you've got the uh, Star Trek Generations. Next Generation, sorry. And then of course the original series. Now the amazing thing about that uh, collection of Star Trek, I never spent over 10 euro for one of them. And it's amazing to think when they first came out, they were actually a hundred pounds each. So uh, I've done incredibly well and it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful looking collection. So there you have it folks, that is everything on the left hand side. And uh, it does take up the bulk of my Blu-ray collection. Now it's not all my Blu-ray collection because some of it is in my other movie room. But uh, I wanted to free up a bit of space in here. And uh, as you can see, like I said, there's a bit there. It's like around 100, 170 spaces. And there's a bit of space over here as well. So I have enough to kind of tide me over for a while. So. Just a quick recap, I'm going to just quick, quickly take us around my room again. But that is my TV and as you can see it is displayed quite beautifully. And then right over here, this is the right hand side of my room. That is my entire 4K collection. Uh, some very nice collectible box sets there on top as well. You've also got the Film Arena collection going along the top. Then right under it is my... Um, my Titans of Cult, a couple of more film arenas. That's all my Steelbook 4K releases. And then of course you got a few more, uh, you know, deluxe releases, the likes of uh, my Sacred Bones collection, of course the Film Vault, and uh, yeah, a couple of more box sets, and of course some figures down the bottom there as well. And then right over of course is my backdrop, and uh, you can see why I wanted this to be the backdrop for my YouTube channel. It looks it looks absolutely amazing and I'm so proud of this collection and uh, hopefully I can build, it, build on it in the near future. So there you have it folks. Like I said, there is videos for every single wall in this room and if you are interested, I will leave a link in the description below. So yeah, that's my movie room. Right folks, so there you have it. That is the left hand side of my collection and that's my entire movie room. And I can't stress this, and I've said it numerous times, I am so proud of how all of this turned out. It is a wonderful collection. Even now, it's, it's all very surreal to me. Even when I'm sitting here watching movies, I still find myself kind of marvelling at the collection, wondering how this has all happened. I, even now, I still don't know how it's happened. But I am very fortunate, very blessed, and uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. So there you have it folks. So like I said at the start of this video, I have left links in the description below for every single wall here and uh, please do check it out. I think you'll be massively impressed by what you see. So there you have it folks. So as per usual, if you like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do, leave a comment down below and please share your thoughts on what you've seen in this video. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.